Hello, everybody, boobity to this continuity. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, welcome. I hope you're gonna have a nice time while I review this continuity. It is of Disney Junior USA from June 21st, and it's part one, two, three, and whatever that whatever that means. The numbering system is sometimes confusing. So it is June, so on June 1st, Mickey Morning started, and we might get to see a little bit of Mickey Mornings right here. Possibly, who knows? Maybe yes, maybe no. One of the two. We might see some promos, some uh, stuff, or we might just see the flat out Mickey Morning stuff. Who knows? Now, Mickey. So, Mickey. Mickey could be a clue that we could get Mickey Mornings because uh, there's Mickey and Mickey Mornings. So, you've got. This looks nice. Very wholesome. Transforming. It's like a transformer. Muppet Babies. They've got a rainbow behind them. Hey, look. They've got some kind of musical song here, which was very short. I mean, it was longer, but we, we've we made it shorter. Hey, look. This is the beginning of Mickey Mornings. This is how Mickey Morning starts. Look. Through this window, we had like sun rays forming the shape of Mickey's head. Now Pluto's trying to bring him breakfast but he catches it when Pluto fails to not be clumsy and now Pluto is causing all kinds of problems here but Mickey is uh, smart enough to like handle a situation he's like the boss around there he's the person who's solving who solves all the problems doing the moonwalk like Michael Hills Jackson right here dancing on the piano like somebody else I don't know who dances on piano some people maybe and you see the sun rays uh, from time to time and you got uh, a fish uh, in a bowl and uh, Pluto and Goofy doing goofy things being goofy and doing goofy things and uh, surfing is also involved so there's a lot of surfing on a, riding on a unicycle as well cutting butter with your ear that's a must <laughs> who doesn't do that right everybody cuts their butter with their ears right so I never got what the deal is with Mickey it's ears like are they around like a like a soccer ball or are they like flat like a disc who knows nobody knows and this is like a whole clip this is a musical clip that you've got right here it's a complete clip with music and everything except for it doesn't have music because I'm talking over it hey look there is Mickey talking this is original content they made especially for this Mickey mornings block there's Mickey talking about some stuff I don't know what he's talking about but yeah this is Mickey mornings this is legit Mickey mornings and it started and you're witnessing Mickey mornings right now all the bumpers all the end credits everything man you're uh, uh, witnessing the whole shebang. So this is the end credits. You see in the background, it's got these graphics, right? These yellow colored graphics. So we've got the hills and we got the beautiful, beautiful, very uh, noticeable, very yellow sun rays behind it. And yeah, that's the graphics for Mickey Mornings. And uh, yeah, there's a Mickey Mouse head thing on the top right corner. You notice that. So there's Mickey Mornings inside Mickey Mornings. There's, there's twice the mornings. So yeah, now we're trans transitioning over to the Disney Now app promotion. I've decided to call it a promotion, a promo, because it's not technically an ad. Because it's part of Disney Junior. So when you're promoting something that is part of Disney Junior, it's a promo. So not an ad. But if they're promoting Disney, oh hey look, there's a ball, bouncy ball. Somebody's bouncy ball. Mickey just noticed it. He was asking you for uh, for the bouncy ball. He was just talking about it. And what luck? There it is, the bouncy ball. So we found the bouncy ball. Problem solved. Mickey's a problem solver. He, hey look at the funny hippo. This is like the weirdest stuff I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Out of context, this looks so weird, the whole thing. But I mean, I kept it in just to show you the logo at the bottom, but I failed to mention anything about the logo, so you probably didn't even pay attention to the logo. But the logo, it changes during Mickey Mornings 2. It gets some sun rays, gets the sun ray graphic added to the standard vanilla logo, and that's uh, how it goes. Chuggington on Disney Now. This is a promo for Disney Now, and some more custom footage of Mickey talking to you during Mickey mornings I think they should make a Mickey morning whole show like a 30 minute show or something with Mickey inside this uh, room talking to you that would be cool wouldn't it 
I don't know. I don't know if it will be cool. But I mean, it kind of looks good. The graphics look nice. They look nice. So, uh, fireworks and stuff. This is uh, Doc McStuffins. I recognize it. So, the bubble bursts and uh, the song starts, but we cut out the song only at the beginning and the end remain because that's as uh, much as we can show you without getting in trouble with the people that people get in trouble with. So we got Bluey the Australian uh, Dingo or... Wait, is it a dog? I don't know what they are. They look like dogs. Maybe they're bingo dingoes or some kind of Australian animal bringing these babies home. Did, they, did you notice the text say these instead of these? These? Because this uh, pelican or whatever it is, stork, yeah stork is the word, because this stork is French and uh, he has a French accent, he speaks with a French accent and in France people uh, have difficulties pronouncing the th sound, the, the sound, so instead of this they say this and instead of uh, they say e, so these, so not this or this, so bringing these babies home. So it's kind of a joke, kind of an inside joke, in a way, because you know the pelican's French, he's not going to be able to pronounce the thing correctly, and uh, they just write whatever they hear, so that's what the pelican says, and that's whatever. We've talked enough about this topic, and uh, we got to go and talk about other topics, topics too. So we got Doc McStuff, and the Doc is in, they're probably going to talk about first responders, whatever they're called, yeah, first responders. And these are like trained people to respond to you in emergency. So they're the first one to go in. So the, the, it's the most risky job for the first people who come in because you, you don't know, you don't really know what's gonna, uh, you don't know what to expect, what, you don't know what awaits you. So you got this boy who wants to help but doesn't know how. And I don't know what the solution to this is. Uh, I guess he can't. I don't know. So, I mean, uh, it's gonna end soon, so, I don't know, this is like a whole episode. This Doc stuff and stuff is like, very educational, like, they're trying to like, program you, it's like, almost like propaganda in a way, I don't know, like, they're trying to teach you a lot of stuff uh, in this cartoon, I'm like, I'm not so sure I want to be taught all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? I want cartoons to be mindless. Is it too much to ask for cartoons to be mindless? Hey look, another song about the twins dancing. And uh, of course we've cut out the middle because you always cut out the middle, man. That's how it's done. So I mean, like, you get the beginning and the end. That's enough for us to get a taste of what this actually is. This continuity is probably going to be very long and uh, with the songs intact it would be a lot longer probably. Hey look, Bob, this is Bob and he's interested in karate today every day every episode he's interested in something different and today he is interested in karate i don't know how he has so much time and energy and money and whatever to be able to pursue all these interests and why he does not stay uh you know just pick one interest and do it like pick a hobby and do it right he needs to keep doing new things every every time again and again so it is what it is that's what a per certain person said to me today and this is true we have what we have and this is what this is but Mickey Mouse Mickey mornings is pretty cool don't you think I don't know I don't know anything anymore he's brushing his teeth because he's a good citizen and then he's eating waffles which is not very good for you and anybody who says waffles are good for your health he's a liar because it's been proven that waffles consist of carbohydrates. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I mean, I do, but also it's not very relevant. I mean, yeah. Interesting. This is the part where uh, they showed something about princesses. And it's mostly about Ariel, the princess. And look, she's got legs. Usually she doesn't have legs. She has fins and all the fish. Uh, stuff but now she, she's got legs and she can walk around and interact with humans and speak the English language uh, it's like when she's underwater you don't really know if she really speaks English maybe she just speaks fish the fish language and it what we see is some kind of interpretation or translation which is just uh, you know assumed that it's just assumed right the viewer just assumes 
that maybe they don't really talk English. Maybe we just get the cartoon translating it to us in real time somehow. So the humans, it is, it could be possible that the humans speak a different language, but maybe not. Maybe they speak the same language. But why wouldn't they contact humans in their fish form, right? When she's like a mermaid. Why wouldn't she contact humans then? It's like she doesn't speak English at that time, or what? I don't know. Who knows? This stuff is confusing because it involves magic. You you don't just usually transform from one thing to another. So Tots, we just saw a very short bunny bumper, bunny baby bumper. <laughs> That's a lot of bees in the sentence. A bunny baby bumper. So uh, yeah, a piggy. And credits. And credits promotion right now is from、uh, Mickey's Roast Racers, and we see down there, in the small screen below, there's、uh, Mickey and the Roast Racers, and the promo is on the top in the big screen, and、uh, yeah, we get to see this promo a lot, even without the end screen in the bottom, we get to see it in full screen, but now we get to see it in the like、uh, smaller window. So that's a little bit different. That's a little bit refreshing, and we got Mirabel Detective right here with her two anthropomorphic talking chipmunks. And what else? Like、uh, this is like a magical world that does not respond to reality because they've got flying.、Uh, what do you call them? Rickshaws, flying rickshaws. So there's magic involved, of course. There's always magic involved in Disney Junior because, you know, how else would you make things interesting? Right, you make life a lot easier for yourself when you allow magic to exist in your world because you can explain any kind of weird behavior or inconsistency with magic, and that's how they do it on Disney Junior. There's magic in like every cartoon. There's not a single cartoon where there's just normal people walking around and interacting and being bound by physical laws. No, you can transform. There's like spells. There's like witches. There's like gravity. Doesn't matter sometimes, and all that stuff. So yeah, there's like gadgets that are too futuristic to be real, that don't exist yet, and possibly never will exist. So there's a lot of unrealistic stuff in these Disney Junior cartoons, even though they're trying to get closer and closer to reality by making everything look hyper realistic, using CGI. I would say、uh, 2D cartoons are also important, and CGI is not the only thing you should be focusing on. But it seems to be a very popular thing with the little kids nowadays, and、uh, they like CGI. They love it. I don't know why. What it, is, is it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm a fan of 2D cartoons. I think it takes a lot more、uh, effort to create them, but I don't know. I got I get a better feeling while looking at 2D cartoons. I I don't get such a good feeling that look by looking at 3D cartoons, but everybody's different, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. So、um, let's pay attention to Bingo and Rolly, shall we? This is another Disney Now app promo. There's so many of these.、Uh, nowadays, every channel, everything's got an app. Soon every person will just have their own app <laughs> in the Play Market or App Store or whatever, and that, wouldn't that be funny? Every person on the earth would just have their own app. You could download my app. I'd be like, "Yo, this is my app. What would my app do?" I don't know. Just uh, maybe uh, I don't know what my app would do. Just have information about me. It'll be like this is this dude who does this and that, and at this point of time he did that, and then he did something else, and now he's here doing this. This would this would be my app. It would be just a bunch of text. Maybe there will be a picture of me. Who knows?、Uh, so yeah, we're actually nearing the end of the continuity. So、um, time flies when you're having fun, I guess. If you、uh, enjoyed this video, check out more videos on this YouTube channel. So yeah, see ya. Bye bye.